Hey guys, this is Chris Gorey. Um, I'm back with another video today. I'm going to be showing you my Airsoft collection. Uh, I recently purchased two more guns from Sports, uh, Sports Authority. The Crossman Zombie Collection, as you can see over there. They're not great guns. They're fun for just backyard shooting. Uh, so yeah, let's get into it. We'll go from top to bottom, then left to right. So, at the top is my uh, WE full metal scar l um it's green gas powered and a blowback gun and it's got a foldable stock an adjustable cheek rest and a what is it adjustable stock where you can like make it farther or closer and then it's got a rail on each left and right side bottom and top then full rail across the top flip up sights and orange tip as all airsoft guns would so then my next one right here is my zombie what is it called the z71 zombie eraser uh it's by crossman it's just a black mp5k with some green plastic added around it which actually the grip that it came with it's pretty nice um it comes with an acog sight well sort of an acog sight you can see through it like that and then it comes with a silencer which actually helps the gun with range and accuracy and it's got just a stock and a clip but believe it or not the clip is the battery so that's where the battery is then how the um how the bb's loaded in is this scope is actually a hopper so if you open the top right here you can hold up to 500 rounds in there and it attaches to the top of this where there's another little hole and they line up and it feeds them into it so the next up is my full metal colt 25 it's just a little baby pistol with 233 feet per second oh and by the way this one is um I'm trying to think i think 300 feet per second and then this one is 400 feet per second um so it's just holds seven bbs i made a little um cardboard holster with some duct tape around it to hold it together and over here is my taurus spring pistol it's just an old piece of junk hardly works and i have to put a bolt right there so the top doesn't come off because the old plastic snapped the sight i think it's all right um and then it's just got it holds 12 rounds it's got this weighted clip um so then i have my little crossman uh like mini m16 it's a z74 survival whatever that means probably survival with zombies obviously um so it's fully automatic or if you flip it like for fully automatic you have to go up but for semi you have to push it down and you cock this back wait one second oh god I'm having difficulties with this okay so now i can do it and you pull it back you hear the click and then you can just go semi-automatic like that um shoots 150 feet per second it's just a good little backyard gun Here's it compared to all my other guns. It's pretty small. This is the size of my hand, and I have small hands. Chubby ones, too. <laughs> um, so it's just green and black. And then there's the uh, switch. It's really really not much to it. Then, without, without this little thing, it only holds about 100 BBs, and it, you open it through there. But with this, this is also a gravity-fed hopper. It is, um, that's the actual scope. You can't see through it because what it does is the back of it opens and you pour the BBs in there. And then when you add this on, the gun can hold a total of 350 rounds. And then when you put that on, you just slide it in the hole that was open. And then you slide it forward and press this thing forward. And there you go. You got another little scope. It's actually more accurate with this scope. And it looks sort of funny, cartoonish. Um, then the last gun I have over here 
is my semi-automatic gas blowback pistol, the Glock 17. It's full metal. It's really nice. The end is um, able to be screwed on a silencer, which that one can't because it's a different kind. And then it holds, I think, 30 rounds, I believe, if not something like 28. But that's pretty much it for my guns, and that's the case for my Glock. Uh, right here, I got from Sports Authority. It's a 20 gram, 5,000 round, 6, mm, 6 millimeter airsoft caliber BBs. Uh, they're biodegradable. So once you open the little vacuum packed bags that they're in, like one at a time, uh, you have to keep it dry, otherwise, they'll disintegrate. But otherwise, they take two to three weeks to disintegrate in the grass or wherever you shot them. And you have to use them within the 10 weeks, otherwise they start to disintegrate on their own. Um, and over here, I got high-density BBs. They're just 20, 0 0.2, uh, 2,000 rounds. They're just normal BBs. They're, they're actually really good quality, I would say, because, uh, I've shot them against concrete and stuff, and they haven't even really got nicks in them. Although, that was using that gun, <laughs> so not that I would do much anyway. Now I have my Elite Force Premium 5,000 uh, round BBs in a can. It's these are really really good made BBs. Um, they shoot well and they're accurate. And when there's a spin on them from your barrel, they stay spinning and uh, they have no seams or anything. And I think this was twelve dollars at Godfather's. Then over here I have my. Valken Tactical Green Gas for that gun and that gun, uh, which there's not much to it. And then here's my, um, my World Tex Arms, um, just face mask for, oh, there's my reflection there, um, for Airsoft. It can come apart, so this bottom part right here can come off. And so can the top part. They just snap onto the inside of this, the frame of these. If you can see the little nubs. Let's see if you can see them. All right there. Not that you can see them, but uh, it's a good, it's a good face mask. Overall, I would say the the quality of the plastic is a little bit like stiff. So if you drop it a couple times or hit it hard enough, it could snap. But I would say the overall design is really well made. Uh, that's it for my Airsoft collection. If you would like, like, comment, subscribe, um, tell your friends, and see ya.